What's up guys? It's your girl M and I'm back with another video for you today. Happy Halloween! This is my last video in my spooky little area over here, my spooky scene. Unfortunately, I didn't really get into the holiday spirit as much as I usually do. I tried, but it just didn't happen. But there's always next year. Don't you worry about it. I have my Charlie Brown mug, the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. This is definitely a movie I'm going to be watching tonight. It's a bit chilly, so me and Poseidon are just going to snuggle and watch Halloween movies and enjoy the holiday that way. So I hope you guys have a very safe Halloween. I know it's a Tuesday. Um, I hope you all had a safe Halloween weekend. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video. We're going to be retiring this spooky scene tomorrow. So say your last goodbyes, but then we can talk about what we're going to do for Christmas because I definitely want to do a Christmas scene. So we should discuss that immediately. I am going to be rating celebrity Halloween costumes. Now, I love doing this. I love seeing celebrity Halloween costumes. If I had money like them, like I'm telling you, I would go all out. So like I get disappointed when they're their costumes are like generic. I'm like, you have the money to go crazy and do like the craziest Halloween costumes and not like hurt from it. <laughs> Why not? Like, please. So I love it when the celebrities give us really great, really accurate, like just amazing Halloween costumes. So we're gonna take a look at some and we're gonna rate them. And so I want you guys to also rate them in the comment section down below. Let me know what Halloween costume you had or what your favorite costume of a celebrity is, and we'll talk about it down below. I hope these celebrities didn't disappoint me, because sometimes I'm like, I look at them and I'm like, you could have done better, and you know you could have done better. Come on, let's go back to the drawing board. I have a ton of Halloween costumes like in my head that I definitely want to use one day, but we will see. I've just never had the like ability to do them but I will, don't you worry. Next year is gonna be different. It better fucking be different or I'm gonna sue God or something. All right, let's get into this. So we have, first up, we have Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker. They are Beetlejuice and yeah, they're the wedding scene from the 1988 comedy Beetlejuice. I like it, I think they did a great job. I figured that they would do a great job Halloween wise because that's kind of like their, I don't know, their shtick, Halloween all year round kind of thing. But I think they look great, love it, I'm happy for them. Uh, while we're speaking about Kourtney Kardashian, I give them a, like a, I give them a nine, eight, nine something like that. But while we're speaking about Kourtney Kardashian, her dressing up as Kim Kardashian at the Met Gala, Pregnant Kim, I'm living for this. So many people are, are looking into it and being like, oh, they're copying the jealousy, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, no, that is an iconic move. You and your sister have discord, like, right? There's like tension, whatever. To break the tension, a fun, campy Halloween costume like that, like that was perfectly executed like I love that Courtney did that and I'm sure Kim loved it too I'm sure that's the actual dress and I'm sure Kim lent it to her you know what I'm saying like I I just think it was so funny so campy and I love it I'm here for it so that's that gets a 10 from me because I just think it's like freaking hilarious because I I don't know if many of you remember but when Kim had that look at the Met Gala like people were on her ass about it. Like people were not happy. People were really cruel. Like that like is one of the instances where she like broke the internet. So it's just like a very iconic thing. I don't know, uh, sue me, I loved it. Queen Adele went as Morticia Adams. Now I love Morticia Adams. I love the Adams family, but it is a little bit played out of a Halloween costume. Like, it's a classic. It, you can't go wrong with it, but it's like, everybody does Morticia. You know what I'm saying? But she did it stunningly. Like, I'm not I'm not mad that she did it. I just think, you know, a lot of 
of people do Morticia. Like that's a very common Halloween costume. And it, and while I love Morticia and I love Adele and I love, I just love the Adams family. So many people do Morticia, but I love it. She executed it perfectly. She looks stunning. I love her. Adele can do no wrong, so we're gonna give her an eight. Miss Lizzo, she was Tina Turner, and honestly, I love it. I think the wig is perfect. I think she really just captures Tina's essence in these photos, so I love it. I give that a 10. I think it's great. I love Tina Turner, too. Okay, and then we have Kendall Jenner being Marilyn Monroe. Go, Kendall. Give us nothing, girl. Here's the thing about Kendall Jenner. She's so beautiful, but she just, like, there's no, like, real oomph to her. You know what I'm saying? And, and who the hell am I to talk about? Like, she's a gorgeous supermodel. I'm just, you know, some plucky girl from the Midwest, so who really cares? But it's just, girl, she looks good. I'm not going to say she doesn't look good. She's a supermodel, but, like... Come on, girly. Can we do more than just like the Marilyn look? Like, come on. I don't know. I give her like a seven. I give her a seven. Number one costume for me, I'm just gonna tell you this right now, Northwest as the graduation bear. I, I think the meaning behind it too is so important and so, I don't know, it's just very, emotional because Kim has done so much to shield North from Kanye's antics and it's just a pure love that she has for her dad and his art and I just think it's like 10 out of 10. I love it. I'm so happy that Kim has like preserved uh, these things of Kanye's to like pass down to his kids and that they can appreciate it and love Kanye the way that Kanye should be loved. He's done a lot of wild shit. Let's not, let's not, you know, let's not forget that. But these children of his like adore him and love him. And their dad is always like, I just appreciate that Kim has let Kanye still be Superman to them. And I just think it's just lovely. North killed it. Demi Lovato as Snow White, she did kill it. She has a bob. I wish she would too. <laughs> What's wrong with the bob? Nothing. You know, she looks good. I'll give her an eight and a half. She looks good. I'm giving high ratings to everybody. Now, Miss Kiki Palmer as Bride of Frankenstein. 10 out of 10. Love it. She looks stunning. The cheekbones, the, uh, looks fabulous. I, 10 out of 10. Can't get enough. She looks great. Chelsea Bellarini as Margot Robbie's Western Barbie from the Barbie movie. She looks fine, but we knew there was going to be a lot of Barbies. We knew there was going to be a lot of Kens. You know, there's probably some Bobby Oppenheimers bopping around somewhere. But, you know, I'll, she looks great. I'll give her a six or a seven because it's just not that, like, I don't know. It's not super original. Dylan Mulvaney, see, we've got another Snow White. We've got another Snow White. I'm gonna say Demi Lovato did a more classical approach. Dylan Mulvaney did a more modern approach, but I think she looks lovely. I think she looks wonderful. And, you know, I'll give her an eight. What did I give Demi Lovato? Did I give her a nine? Give Demi Lovato a nine, give Dylan Mulvaney an eight. I'm telling you, I keep giving these high ass scores. What I, like, who am I? Chloe Bailey, here's the thing. Khaleesi never wore something like this. Um, Khaleesi never, I, and I never finished Game of Thrones, but Khaleesi never wore something like this. And I know I sound like a hater, but she didn't. But here's the thing, if I had a body like Chloe Bailey, I would be wearing that too. I would be wearing that too, even if it wasn't accurate. I would say, you know what? Let's figure out a way so I can show off my body, look hot, and have a good time. So I'm not hating. Just Khaleesi never wore that. And Khaleesi also didn't wear six inch pumps. She did it. Okay. 
Um, but I do like the look. I think she looks fabulous. I'll give her an eight just because she looks good. See, this is, what am I even doing? I'm giving everybody high scores. I'll give her an eight because, you know, she looks stunning. Who cares if it's not that accurate? But then I go, bro, I, I'm all over the place with these ratings. Okay, Hailey Bieber, uh, she was Carmen Electra from the scary movie, and I think she did a good job. I think she did great. I loved it. Um, I'll give her like an eight or nine. Sarah Hyland and Wells, Ab Wells Adams. Oh, she did Seemingly Ranch because of that tweet, uh, that Taylor Swift tweet. If you're not chronically online, then you have no idea what the hell this costume means. Um, but they said Taylor Swift was, a picture of her was taken at Arrowhead Stadium and she was eating chicken nuggets or chicken tenders with uh, ketchup and ranch. But like the person who was creating the tweet didn't know if it was ranch. So he said seemingly ranch. I know, fun, cool story, huh? Very exciting, very riveting that I know this information. Um, but this is funny and cute, but if you're not chronically online, you have no idea what this is. So I will give them a seven or eight. I don't know, it's cute, it's fun, but a lot of people won't get this. Like my mom's not gonna get that. She's gonna be like, seemingly ranch, what? It's ranch. Paris Hilton. She is uh, the flight attendant from the Toxic, the Britney Spears Toxic music video. And I love this because that's women supporting women. Paris Hilton is a girl's girl at the end of the day. And Britney Spears memoir just came out. And um, I just think it's great that Paris honored her in this way. So I give her a 10 out of 10 because we love Britney and we love Paris. And, you know, God bless. I love it. Okay, now we have Justin Bieber. He is wearing a snorkeling mask, flippers, and a pink floral shirt that matches shorts. Justin Bieber. What is this? What is this Halloween costume? This isn't a Halloween costume. This is you going to Cabo. This is you on a boat in the Bahamas. This is not a Halloween costume, Justin Bieber. Take some notes from your wife, because this is what you do. She will serve a look, all right? She will be looking 10 out of 10. She will be serving. And here you come. Here you come looking a mess. Justin Bieber. I'm giving you negative 22. Negative 22, Justin Bieber. A negative 22. I've seen enough. I've seen enough. Don't go to a Halloween party if this is what you're going to just do. Especially a fancy, fun, celebrity Halloween party and this is what you show up as. I saw a tweet one time. This girl said, why does he do, why, why does Justin Bieber do this to her? Because... She will be serving a look. She was like, I would, she was like, I would hate to be serving a look. And then here comes my husband. Just a Bieber. Do better. Chelsea Lascani, Emma Hernan, and Chriselle Stouse. Oh, this is cute. They did Fuck, Mary Kill. I like this. Okay. I give this a 10. This is a, a cute trio. They worked it. They did it very well. I love it. I think this is great. And this is like original and cute. People, I've, I've never seen this before. 10 out of 10. I love it. I love it. They're from Selling Sunset, I believe. I think they did great. I tried to go to the Vogue website, but like the pictures weren't loading on my iPad. So let's go to this People Magazine one and just see if there's any other ones that I've missed that I would like to see. I feel like that list wasn't that good. Um, Drew Barrymore did Bob Ross. I love it. She got a good fro. See, if you're gonna do a wig, do a good one. 
if you're a, if you are a celebrity and you have celebrity money, if you're gonna do a wig, do a good one. Don't get an Amazon wig. Get a good wig. Like that's the, you know what? Spend your money how you want. But if I have money to spend on a good wig for a Halloween costume, I'm gonna do that. But that's just that's just me. Oh, Ice Spice did Betty Boop. I love this. Okay, oh, I forgot to rate Drew. I'll give her an eight or nine. Ice Spice, 10 out of 10. I love Betty Boop. I think this is cute. She served. She definitely has like the body type for Betty Boop. Love it. 10 out of 10. She did great. And the makeup looks good. Okay, here comes Justin Bieber again. But this is okay. This is fine. But you know, Haley got it. You know, she put it together because this man can't put together a look to save his goddamn life. Excuse my language, Lord. Um, she was Pebbles and he was Bam Bam. And they look fine. They look good. Her wig could be better, but I think, you know, she, she did good. Um, let's see. I'll give them 7 out of 10 or 8 out of 10. Here's that picture again of him in the, the flipper. Stay home. Don't go to a Halloween party if you're going to come dressed like that. If you're just going to put some flippers on and have a snorkel on your face. Don't go to the Halloween party. Kendall Jenner, not giving us anything. Channing Tatum and Zoe Kravitz. Oh, they are Rosemary's Baby. Okay, I like it. Okay. So he would be the infant in the Rosemary's Baby, and she is um, Rosemary. Okay, I like that because I like Rosemary's Baby. Um, I give them a 8 out of 10. Billie Eilish, a cowgirl costume. That's it, girl. Six. And she got a bad wig, too. Um, Miss Chloe Bailey, again, giving body. Uh, she's Catwoman. We will give her a eight on this one as well. Looks stunning. Okay. Jenna Jawan and Steve Casey. They were Edward Scissorhands and Kim. Her Kim look is not that good, but I will give them an eight because I love Edward Scissorhands. Zoe Lister Jones, she went as a rooster in Florence, in Florence Pugh. She dresses Guy Fieri. I give them uh, probably 10 out of 10 because I love chicken and I love Guy Fieri. Oh my girl, Meg. She went as Hottie Ween, Tim Burton themed. So she went as one of the flowers from Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland. My girl can do no wrong. Meg can do no wrong. She looks stunning. This is what you do. When you have money, this is what you do. This is how you do Halloween. 10 out of 10, amazing, I love it. No notes, no notes, she looks great. She looks amazing. And she went all out. She didn't half ass it. When you have money, you shouldn't be half assing things, especially Halloween costume. Okay, I rest my case. I'm gonna stop going on and on about it because. You guys are going to hate me. Oh, and then Edward Norton and Shauna Robertson. I do not know Shauna Robertson, but I am an Ed Norton. <laughs> I am an Ed Norton fan. And they went as Victoria and David Beckham, and I love it. I think it's cute. Um, I love David Beckham, and I love uh, Victoria Beckham. And I think they're great. So, all right. I'll give them a 9 out of 10 because, once again, it's a bad wig. Girl, get a good wig. I know Edward Norton has money. I don't really know your work. I don't know your situation. But I know Edward has made a pretty penny in this industry. Okay? He's made more than enough to get you a good wig. Because Victoria Beckham, Miss Posh Spice, would not... Be walking around with her hair looking like that. 
and she would not be walking around with a wig looking like that. Okay. That is it for this video. Like I said, I think North killed it. North was my like my favorite costume. I think Meg's is one of Meg the Stallion. I think her Halloween costume is also stunning and great. Um, there's a lot of good ones. Um, some were more creative than others. I really love the Fuck Mary Kill one with those gals from uh, Selling Sunset. So yeah, that's it. That's what I that's those are the Halloween costumes that I'm rating. So um, if you have any favorite Halloween costumes, put them in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your ratings are for some of these costumes. We can talk about it down below. We can have a discussion. Um, I hope you guys have a very safe Halloween and a very happy one at that. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and check out my Twitter at Man and my Instagram at Midwest Mansfield. Thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate every last one of you. Happy Halloween from me and my blue-eyed boy Poseidon, and we will see you in the next video. Mwah, mwah, mwah.